tonight to Sheriff Alex Villanueva. They want him to release body cam footage of the deadly Willowbrook shooting. As KKLine's Rachel Kim tells us, the family says it's the only way to get to the truth. We just here. We want. We want. What we, what we deserve. That's right. We just want justice. That's it. The family of Fred Williams and community activists say they want to see for themselves what led up to the shooting death of the 25-year-old Willowbrook man on Friday. He wasn't that type. <laughs> The sheriff's department said deputies were doing a routine patrol of Mona Park around 5.30 p.m. when they saw a group of 10 to 15 people. They said one of them, now identified as Fred Williams, was holding a firearm in his hand. When Williams saw the deputies, sheriff's officials said he began to run. As you can see in this security video, one deputy chased Williams down a driveway and into the backyard. Sheriff's officials say that's when Williams engaged the deputy by pointing his firearm, and at that point, the deputy shot Williams. Investigators say they recovered a semi-automatic handgun at the scene. Ultimately, the footage we have shows Fred did not have a gun. It's very, very difficult to accept the sheriff's official statement that Fred had turned around and pointed a gun at this deputy as he's running away with nothing in his hands, climbing an eight-foot block wall, and is shot at the top of the wall such that his body falls and lands into the next yard. On October 1st, Sheriff Alex Villanueva said on Twitter that the department's first body-worn cameras would be in use on the streets that night. The five stations that got the cameras included the Century Station. Now, Mr. Williams' family and community activists want to see what was captured on the deputy's camera. The coroner's office last night confirmed that... Fred Williams Jr. was shot in the back by the deputy. The only way we can get to the truth of what happened is release the tape. The Sheriff's Department released this statement today. Again, our condolences to the family of Mr. Fred Williams. Homicide investigators are working around the clock to ensure a thorough investigation. The body-worn camera footage from this incident will be released after the critical interviews are completed, the evidence analyzed, and the medical examiner completes his findings. We remain committed to transparency and ensuring the public safety of 10 million residents. Reporting in Willowbrook, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.